Yo, what's good, you guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we have a special guest, man. My dog, Cash Williams. Tell him what's good, Cash. He just want to be on his daddy all the time, huh? If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you turn on your bell notifications so when I drop a new tutorial, you will be notified. Today's tutorial will consist of me teaching you guys on how to do the freeze frame mask and transition effect within Premiere Pro and After Effects. Me personally, I like to do my masking in After Effects because it's 10 times faster and it's 10 times easier. I will be going over this in Premiere Pro and After Effects for you guys. Stay tuned. As you can see, this is the effect that you guys will be learning right here. I recently shot this video for my boy Two Little So So like a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, man, let's get into this tutorial. All right, let's get this tutorial started. As you guys can see, we have a whole timeline sequence set up within Premiere Pro, and we have two clips that are on the timeline. Now, in order to do this freeze frame mask and transition effect, what you will do is, I'm gonna do it in After Effects first, and then I'll show you guys I'll show you guys the effect with the Premiere Pro. Okay, so boom, what you will do is you'll go to the second clip that's on the timeline. You hit the right arrow key once. What that does is it goes over one frame, and you will cut this frame. You will then hit Alt. You will then hit Alt, which is Option. Boom, bring it up to duplicate the clip. Once you duplicate the clip, what you will do is you'll go to the beginning. And you will hold shift and hit the right arrow key two times. Now holding shift and the arrow key, what that'll do is it'll go over. Holding shift and hitting your arrow key will go over five times. It will go over five frames. So once you hold shift, I want you to hit the right arrow key twice. And that's 10 frames total. So boom, boom. We'll hit that. We'll drag it over. Boom. Then what we'll do is we'll drag the, the duplicated clip on top of the first frame going into the second video. So boom, you'll hit the right click and go to replace with After Effects Composition. Let that load up. Like I said, man, I love to mask in After Effects because it's 10 times easier and it's 10 times faster. Premiere Pro is kind of fast, but the pen tool is not as flexible as the pen with the After Effects. Okay, so I name this one Carlos uh, Mask. Boom. So, once you name your file, once you name your composition, what you will do is you will right click on the clip, you will go up to time, and then you will go to freeze frame. Freeze frame will turn this video into a still image. So that way, once you mask out whatever you want to mask out, it's just a frozen image. It's just a frozen mask. So boom. I hit command plus to go in. Now what I do is, this is your pen tool that's up here in the toolbar right here. But the shortcut for the pen tool is G. So you'll hit G. Boom. And then you'll just mask around your subject. Boom. Make sure you get around there good. I like to make sure mine is perfect, man. I'm sorry, you guys. If it's gonna take a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everything is good. I'm gonna mask around my whole subject. Uh, trying to hurry up for you guys now. Almost to the finish line here. Uh, let me go back. Messed up a little. Okay, boom, we're done. What I'll do is, cause I like, I don't like my mask to be that rough. What I'll do is, I'll hit F, and that's gonna take me to my mask feather, and I normally put it on four. So that way my mask, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of soft around edges and not too hard. Um, boom. I said it's free, it's a froze frame. So boom, what I'll do is I'll, I'll hit the uh, exit button at the top, save. And then once I get back into Premiere Pro, boom, there's my mask. Let me render it out to show you guys. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, boom, there we go. As you guys can see, there's the masking effect right there. Now, there are other ways that you can use this masking effect. You don't just have to keep it still. You can go to your face controls at the top and click on this, um, this masking clip. And this right here is what you call your motion tab. Basically, a motion tab will come very in handy with your masking effect if you ever just want to go crazy with it. These right here, like this is how you create your keyframes to give your mask clip movement. So what I'm going to do is I want to bring it from the bottom to the top. Now, what I want to do is I want to keyframe the position at the beginning. Um, the left number goes left and right. The right number goes up and down. What I want to do is, since I want to bring it from the top to the bottom, I'm going to drag this clip down, boom. And I'm going to go all the way to the end of my clip and reset the keyframe right here with the reset button, boom. And then what I'll do is I'll highlight both of them, right click, go to temporal um, interpolation, and then I'll go to ease in. So my, so my masking effect slides in real easy. So as you guys can see, boom. You see that? Boom. One more time. Boom. Keyframe. Boom. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do is, say for instance, I want to bring it in from left to right. Let me erase these keyframes. As you guys can see. Okay, so boom, I set another keyframe at the beginning. But if I want to bring it in from left to right, like I said, the left numbers go left and right. The right numbers go up and down. I'll drag this to the left. At the beginning, we'll go all the way to the end to this last frame before it hits the um the first frame of the second clip, which is the masking um effect. And then I hit this reset button, boom. I select both of them again. And then I'll right click, go to time interpolation, and go to ease in. Then I hit sequence, go to render in to out. So boom, instead of it going from um bottom to the top, it goes left to right. So boom, boom, slides in just like that. Now that's how you guys do the masking effect with the after effects. That's my easy way of doing it because it's faster. Now we're finna get in the way. Now we're finna get into it to where you can do the masking effect with the Premiere Pro. And this is how you do it. Boom. Boom. So as you guys can see, man, we're still located in Premiere Pro. What we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this clip. Boom. Now the cut is still there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the clip. Let me uh, space this out. We're gonna go back to the clip. We're going to click on the whole option, which is out. Boom. Shift key, right frames, two times is 10 frames total. Boom, boom. We're over 10 frames. We're going to drag it out. Boom. Then we're going to drag it back to the beginning of the second clip. Now, to mat, to mat, uh, do this effect with the Premiere Pro, what you will have to do is you'll have to right click on the clip, go down to where it says add frame hold. So now you see that's a still image. After you do that, in order to mask it out, what you will do is you'll go to your effects tab, you'll go to crop, you add the crop effect on the clip, boom. Now what you will do is you'll click on the pen tool and you'll mask it out. Let me uh, figure out. Okay, boom. Now let me click in. Let me hit this. So I can see this as a full, um, let's see. Boom. Bring it in so I can see what I'm masking. All right, boom. Now, in order to get to the pen tool, you will click on it at the top, but if you ever just wanna go to the hand tool, so you can drag a clip to where you can see where your mask is properly, you'll hit H for the hand. And then if you wanna go back to the pen tool, without having to go to the pen tool in the toolbar right here, what you will do is you hit P and it'll bring you right back to the pen tool. So basically we're gonna mask around this subject. Now the reason that I do not like masking in Premiere Pro is because the pen tool in After Effects is way more flexible than the pen in Premiere Pro. Um, the pen in Premiere Pro to me is just, it's, it's very, I ain't gonna say it's hard to control, but you really don't have as much flexibility over this pen as you would in After Effects. So that's why I do all of my masking with an After Effects. And like I said, man, we're getting this masking effect did in Premiere Pro for the people that don't have After Effects. But I would strongly suggest you guys to get it. Okay, so boom, here you go. As you can see, the clip is masked out. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna invert the clip, go to the left and hit 100. And what that is gonna do is, that is gonna take away the background. So boom, like I said, after you mask it out, 
you'll go to invert and then you'll go to the left and go to 100 and it'll take away that background layer now as you can see this is how you do the masking um effect with the premiere pro now what i'll do is because like i said the pen tool that's located in Premiere Pro is not as flexible as the one in After Effects, so you really can't make your mask as perfect as you want to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go add a feather. I'll probably go to like 13, and boom, just have it just like that. And I mean, it doesn't look too bad, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, remember if you, like okay, boom, this is 10 frames. So as you can see, we masked the subject out with the Premiere. Boom, there you go. But, like I said, if you want to add movement to it, go to your motion tab in the top left corner right here. Say, for instance, I want to go right to left now with this. I'll hit the keyframe at the beginning. The numbers on the right. The numbers on, on the right go up and down. The numbers on the left go left and right. Say, for instance, I want to go come. I want to bring my mask from the right to the center again. You'll drag this over to the right at the beginning. You'll go to the end of the keyframe, the last frame. And you'll hit the reset button. Boom. And as you can see, boom, it's coming from right back to the middle of the um video for the effect. Boom, just like that. But if you want to have it come in a little easier, you will right, you will um select both of the keyframes at the top, right click, go to time interpolation, and hit ease in. Now what I'll do is I'll render that out. Boom, and as you guys can see there's the fit so that sums up for today's tutorial if this tutorial was helpful to you in any kind of way make sure that you comment down below and also comment on what effect that you want me to do next and be sure if you don't already to follow me on instagram if you guys follow me on instagram you can keep up with the new music video snippets that i drop and also the new tutorials that i will be dropping on my channel every thursday man so make sure you guys tap in and like i said last video tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend man and that's what we doing to shoot out